You guys good in the back? You guys good? All right, Coach, just talk a little bit about uh, today's group practice. Well, first of all, it's great to be back on the on the practice field with our team and, and our new coaches out there. Uh, a lot of excitement. A lot of flying around. I told her. I told her team at the very end of practice. I called them up. The main thing is we just have to learn how to practice uh, at the pace and the intensity and the tempo, both offensively and defensively. The X's and O's they'll come, but uh, it's just uh, our main focus right now is learning how to practice and be able to do, uh, process things by practicing fast. Questions. Gus saw with Darius Owens working at linebacker. Is that? Where he's going to be going forward? We're going to, we're going to give him a good shot at linebacker. That's what he wanted to do. And uh, you know, when we first recruited him, that's that was the position that uh, we were recruiting for. So we'll see how it goes. And, and uh, but he definitely will have a good shot, you know, at, at linebacker. Chris Landrum, same situation. Same, same thing. Same thing. He's going to start out at linebacker, and we'll see what happens. Looks like Justin Garrett was lined up in the star spot for the first unit. Him and Javier, and, and I want to say this, there's really no such thing as a first unit or second unit. Now, there's groups that will go out there first, but you will see a lot of rotation throughout the, uh, the spring. And the more we're able to scrimmage to truly evaluate our guys, then we'll start getting some kind of pecking order. You talked about learning how to practice. I mean, how much of that is learning how to practice at the tempo that you want to run things, and how did you think that they did with the first day? Yeah, uh, it, it is about learning how to, to, to line up correctly, uh, learn how to process information quickly, and uh, having great body language and, and, and hustling. And, and you know, it, it's, it's all that combined. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, how we did today, uh, we've, got, we've got a ways to go as far as learning how to practice at the tempo and the pace. Um, you know, that we want, but that's to be expected. Uh, but we will get better each day at that. When you, when you recognize that, sometimes I, I, looking at the assistant coaches, they have to be up for the practices. Talk a little bit about that because some of that, that energy that they show mm -hmm. can reflect on That's them. exactly right. Uh, you know, uh, coaches setting the tone of each, each drill. And, you know, hey, we're going to slow down. When it's individual time, we're going to slow down. When we're in a team setting, uh, you know, we are definitely going to be flying around, and, and definitely the coaches will be setting the tone. You know, Quan Bray back there, some of the quarterbacks, and getting back in the room there as far as maybe doing some wildcat stuff here. Well, he's got the ability to do that. Uh, he, he's he's very flexible to play a lot of different positions, and he's one of those guys that you know we'll try out at some different things. And uh, he's got a good understanding of the offense, so we can do that with him. Just the mentality of the team. I know. You Talk about getting the edge back and on that. Well, how have you seen them? I guess turn that corner. Have you seen that? What have you seen them progressing as far as the attitude? That well, you, you know, I was just judging today as the first practice, and I just told them, "Hey, we got a ways to go as far as learning how to practice, learning the expectations." But that is to be expected. Uh, but the thing is, they will get better each each time, and, and we'll make sure as coaches uh, that they'll understand exactly what our expectations are. And uh, but but we'll definitely get there. Before you get on the field, though, you know, just in, in the weight room and, and things like that, how have you seen? Have you seen an attitude change? Or yeah, uh, kind of like I was talking yesterday. Uh, we have. We've gotten stronger. Um, we, we've gotten a little mentally tougher from the time when we first got here. But when you start practice, you know, you, you just start fresh and you kind of judge it day by day and, and how it goes. And like I told them, our goal is each day uh, to get better, not just better at their position, but better mentally and. Uh, Really understand how to practice. When a team when you goes down, when a team you know has a season like they had last year, do you see? Do they need to be picked back up and kind of they kind of say, "Hey, look, last year was last year." How's their mentality? I guess. Well, we put that we put last year behind us. Now, when I first got the job, it, you know, it was it was evident we had some some players with mental scars and and all that. But it's a new day, and uh, we've got good enough relationships with our guys. The standards high. We're just looking forward to the future. When you look at their body language and communication with each other, I mean, was this first day about them just getting comfortable in their surroundings? It's, it's been a while since they've been on that practice field. You know, I think so. Just getting used to, uh, you know, getting used to their position coach, getting used to their coordinators, getting used to how we're going to do things from from a, uh, you know, a standpoint of not only pace but structure. So there's a lot of a lot of things going on with those guys. That's what I told them. I mean, we're just going to be very direct on what. The standard is our expectations are, and uh, really fully expect our our uh, players to meet those. 
on the offensive line, you had the four returning starters, obviously, and then you had Jordan Diamond, who was a guy in a red shirt last year, at least in the part that we saw. Can you kind of talk about what you're expecting from him and what you've seen or heard? Well, you, you, of course, I helped recruit Jordan before I left, so I know a lot about him. He's a big guy, and uh, he's an athletic guy. And he's a guy that, uh, you know, once we get in pads, we'll know a lot more uh, regarding the offensive line and defensive line. Once you start setting this tone, is there a patient time for you and the assistants to say that we might have to take a step back and see how things are progressing for that? Do you talk, are you, what are you talking Just about? in general when, when, you know, because there's a lot of teaching going on mm -hmm. as well. That because you've got expectations right. going into the spring and then after one practice, do you see if there's you got some adjustments that you Well, have? you know, this, this spring's gonna be more about us. Uh, it's, we're gonna be very basic. It's going to be about just uh, the basics of our offense and defense and getting very good at a few things. So, uh, you know, as far as taking a step back, I mean, we're going full throttle. And, uh, you know, we'll, we got a plan and we're going to stay the course through that in spring. What did you see out of the quarterback position today? You know, I was, I was going from a big picture standpoint more than an ind individual. Didn't get a chance to watch them, I think, but maybe a period and a half of individual time. Uh, but it looked like they were throwing the ball decent. Obviously, the job is different, but for you as a head coach, did you just, how has the comfort level, I guess, been in some ways coming to spring practice as opposed to last year? Well, you know, during spring, you know, I'm, I'm going to big picture it and see how everything's working offensively and defensively and making sure that everything's set up properly. And, uh, you know, as it gets later in spring and then in fall, I'll be more specific on, you know, the areas that I'll be, be helping with. How many uh Full pads practices can you handle with the rules now in the spring? How many have to be in shorts? Yeah, we've got to have three three in shorts, and I believe we got eight that we can tackle. I think a lot of players obviously knew with your reputation as a guy who likes things up tempo. I kind of knew what to expect. <coughs> but how much do you think they needed to see it on the practice? Today? Well, there's nothing like getting out there and seeing it. And, and even the guys that have been through it, you know, it, it takes a while to train your mind and your body. Uh, and then, of course, the young guys, you know, it's all new to them. So, so I knew it would be a process, but like I said, our expectations are high. We, we, did, we, didn't, we didn't play fast enough today. We weren't really even close, but, but we'll get there. Friday, you going to be back in shorts? What's that? Friday, shorts? Yes. How about Saturday? Uh, we'll be in pads. How has the, the dynamic been between players that are more familiar with you and, and guys who don't have any familiarity with you at all? Uh, you know, I think the guys that are familiar had, had an advantage, but still, after a year off, it's still mentally and physically, you know, it takes a little bit to get back in a routine. Coach, you commented a little bit about the uh, improvement of strength previously and a bit today. Uh, at the quarterback position, particularly, I haven't gone through everybody yet, but Jonathan Wallace added 12 pounds compared to the fall weight. Uh, Kyle adds 8 pounds compared to fall weight. How much of an emphasis was it at the quarterback position to? to add size and strength again. Yeah, I think so. Uh, matter of fact, I believe Kyle actually lost some weight. He was up pretty heavy when we first got here, and uh, he, he lost some weight. Jonathan has put some weight on. But uh, not only the quarterback, but, I, you know, uh, Coach Russell is confident that all of our guys have gotten stronger, and we need to continue that. I mean, we're, we're still not there. Uh, we need to continue to get stronger. Just to clarify, Kyle kind of lost weight in the last few months? Since I've been here. Since you. Take one more. All right. Thanks, Coach. Okay, Appreciate thank you. It.